Alright, tip number one for all you future industrial maintenance technicians. Uh, get used to being wrong because you're always wrong. It doesn't matter if you're right or not. Production supervisors, they're going to tell you you're wrong and that it's your fault the machine's broke, even though you're trying to fix it. It's a confusing thing, but it's a thing. Tip number two for all you future maintenance guys um, show up, do your job, no matter what it is. Even if it's something simple, like you need to weld a bunch of belts. Weld the damn belts. Trust me. Trust me. You will be the better maintenance guy if you weld them belts. Just just do it. This is for all you guys coming out of college into this industry. You don't know everything. You know the technical side of this stuff. You don't know the real world side of it. And there's a difference between the real world and the technical aspect. Things happen theoretically that should not happen, but they do. Trust me, they do it every day. And you will have to figure them out. And you will have think back to these theories and everything you've learned and they aren't going to make any sense so just know it's constant learning curve in this industry and you will never know everything tip number four operators are your biggest assets they know the machines they run them every day if they tell you there's a problem here look at that problem because odds are that operator is probably correct from where that problem was be located don't go just ignoring them and shoving them off to the side. They are a troubleshooting tool. Use them. They're great. Most of them are phenomenal people. And not all of them are stupid. So you do get some that really know what the hell is going on. It's rare, but it happens. And uh, yeah, listen to them. Ask them, what's this machine doing? How long has it been down? And, you know, because you it's all information you need to know. You need to know what it's doing, how long it's been down, and you need to know it automatically how long it's going to take you to fix it. So that way you can inform their line leads and your supervisors how long this machine is going to be down for repairs. If you don't do that, you'll have a very bad time in this industry, I promise you.